Here we go, top 30 running back rankings. Number one, who else would it be this week? Alvin Kamara, I don't care who he versus each and every week. This guy's the best running back in fantasy football. And this week, it's in a divisional matchup versus Tampa Bay. It's going to be a shootout. Pencil and Kamara, 25 to 30 points each and every week. Number two, Dalvin Cook versus Detroit Lions. Cook, what a game he had last week. Four touchdowns in four possessions. He finished the day with 47 fantasy points. What a game it was. Cook, he's a top three running back each and every week. And this week, I expect another monster game versus Detroit. Number three, Derrick Henry. The carries and numbers have gone down over the last few weeks. But you know, Henry, as the season goes on, he gets stronger and the fantasy stats go up. And this week, he versus a tough Chicago defense. But you know Henry's a bona fide stud, and he's a guy you got to start each and every week. He's the third best back. Number four, James Conner. He's been a great fantasy back all season. A low end, number one to high one at times. And he's in a great offense, which is top ten, easily top ten in the league. Maybe even top five. But anyway, he's got Dallas this week. Conner, I could see him erupting for 100 yards total. And one or two scores. Number five, Chase Edmonds, a guy I had in my start list this week. And this week he's got a great matchup at home versus Miami Dolphins. And Edmonds, we saw him in relief a few weeks ago versus Seattle, where he had seven catches for 87 yards and also 40 yards rushing. So Edmonds, he's going to be a problem for Miami. He's a great receiver out of the backfield. This guy's ceiling is sky the limit. So he's going to be top five this week. Number six is James Robinson. Of the Jacksonville Jaguars. We've seen him have some great games this season. And he's coming off a 28 point fantasy day a few weeks ago. Versus the Chargers. This week he has Houston at home. Robinson he's the mainstay of that offense. They got the rookie Jake Futton. Coming in there and starting. So you know they're going to hand the rock off a lot. And Futton's going to do a lot of check downs to Robinson. So he's going to be the number 6 back this week. Number 7 the return of the first pick overall. In most fantasy drafts this year. Christian McCaffrey. At Kansas City, it's going to be a tough game to get back into it. Mike Davis filled in well for McCaffrey, but McCaffrey, the highest paid running back in the league. Davis eating into his workload, that's not going to happen. That was just to say, yeah, Davis did a great job, but it's not happening. McCaffrey, he's back, firing him up. He's the seven, going to be the seventh ranked running back. Number eight, Josh Jacobs. Last week, he had a crazy workload, 31 carries. For 128 yards, just the only thing, the catches weren't there for Jacobs. And that's the problem with him. And I said to sell him high after that game. But this week, he's got another good matchup versus a Charger team that gets gashed in the air and on the ground. So he'll be the yanked running back. Number 9, Chris Carson. Carson, he's been a fantasy beast this year. Especially as a number 2 running back is where most people drafted him to be on their team. Last week, he missed... The ball game versus San Francisco. But DJ Dallas filled in good. But if Carson does play, he's going to stay here at the number 9 spot. He's got a pretty good matchup versus Buffalo. Who gives up a lot of yards per carry on the ground. And Carson, I think he's going to play. He's a tough dude. He don't miss many games. He had the foot injury. But he's going to come back. Number 10, Todd Gurley versus the Denver Broncos. Gurley already with 8 touchdowns this year on the ground. And let's be honest, that saved most of his fantasy days. This season for Gurley. He only has 13 catches on the season. But he's getting good volume in the backfield. And volume in this fantasy game is key. Of getting stats and numbers. So Gurley versus a pretty poor Denver defense. Who's had Von Miller the whole season they've missed him. He's going to have a decent game Gurley. So I could see him getting 70 total yards and a touchdown. Number 11 Clyde's Edward Hilaire. Everyone's talking about the split in the backfield. But Le'Veon Bell... He didn't look good to me. He didn't look quick. And Edwards Hilaire, he's a guy, I think he's going to have a good game this week versus Carolina. Last week was the throwing game for Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. And this week, I think it's going to be a run-heavy game for them. So he'll be the 11th ranked number back. Number 12, Antonio Gibson versus the New York Giants. We saw Gibson come off a big game versus the Dallas Cowboys for 128 yards and a touchdown in Week 7. At home in Washington. And he's home again versus a weak giant defense against the run. So I think Gibson, he's going to have a good game here. And he's going to be number 12. Number 13, David Johnson. Missed the consistency in that number 2 running back to flex position spot is Johnson. Last week he had 13 points before the bye week. 
And this week he's got a weak Jacksonville team that I think the Texans are going to have their way offensively against and defensively as well. But Johnson, he's been good for 12 to 14 each and every week. And he's a perfect number two to flex running back. And I had him on my start list as well this week. Number 14, Justin Jackson, another guy who's on my running back start list. Go check that video out. But anyway, he's coming off 142 yard from scrimmage performance last week in Denver and now he's got a Las Vegas Raider team that gives up the third most fantasy points to running backs you know you got Joshua Kelly and Polk there but it don't matter Justin Jackson he's better than these guys he's going to start out touching these guys Kelly I think they're going to start phasing out he was a guy I had on my drop list for running backs this week so Jackson's 14 number 15 Ezekiel Elliott yes he's this low in my rankings he's going to get the volume still but he don't have the offensive line. Dallas is without Collins and Tyron Smith on the line the rest of the season. Now they're down to their fourth string quarterback. Ben DiNucci was horrible last week. They had Zeke in the Wildcat trying to get him going. But it was a forced issue. And then this week versus a Pittsburgh defense that gives up the least amount of fantasy points to running backs. It spells disaster for Zeke. I had him on my bench list. But here I'm going to rank him 15th just because of the volume. 16, David Montgomery, another guy who has tons of volume. But this guy, he just can't find the end zone or catch the ball out of the backfield. On 20 to 25 touches a game, Montgomery, he's only getting you 10 to 12 fantasy points. And that's PPR leagues. This week, he's got Tennessee. Yeah, you're going to play him as a number two back, but I had him on my bench list as well. But if you got no choice, play him. Number 17, J.K. Dobbins of the Baltimore Ravens. This rookie... We saw him break out when he got the workload last week versus a tough Pittsburgh defense. He still had over 100 yards rushing, and I hope they give this kid an opportunity. Because Mark Ingram's hurt. He didn't look good anyway in the first seven games with Ingram. Gus Edwards is a between-the-tackles guy. But it, like I say every video with this team, between Jackson and whatever two running backs are playing, that's going to be 40 carries a game. For the Ravens, so Dobbins, hopefully he gets the big workload again. Number 18, Leonard Fournette, it looks like he's the man over there in Tampa Bay now. He already was getting the third down work, but now with uh, Ronald Jones fumbling last week versus the Giants, they took him out and benched him in the first half, and Fournette out-touched him 15-7. to I think Fournette versus the New Orleans Saints, he could break one in this big division matchup. So Fournette, I think he's going to have a decent week. Number 19, Jermichael Hasty of the San Francisco 49ers, a team that's depleted. And tonight they versus the Green Bay Packers at home, I think, to keep Rodgers and that Packer offense off the field before it goes ahead. Hasty, he's going to get a lot of carries early on in the game, but then they're going to have to pass. It's going to be Hasty and McKinnon probably in a 60-40 split. If I like this kid Hasty, he runs hard. He knows how to follow his blocks, so he's not a bad start as your number two running back. Number 20, Melvin Gordon, Atlanta, Phillip Lindsay. He didn't practice yesterday, and who knows his status for this week. He's banged up, it seems like, each and every week is Lindsay. Melvin Gordon last week, he salvaged his day in PPR leagues with 12 fantasy points, I believe he finished with. So Gordon at Atlanta, he's got a good matchup. He's going to get 10, 15 carries, and you know he's going to get the goal line work most likely. Number 21, DeAndre Swift. I, this guy, I'm still high on him. He's had a bad game. Adrian Peterson, for whatever reason, they keep giving him carries. Detroit, though, they're going to be out of it soon. So I think Swift, he's going to start getting the monster workload. And we saw him get it. He had 116 yards and two touchdowns a few weeks ago. He's got a good matchup in Minnesota. So I'm hoping he gets the touches in a game that's going to be a shootout. Number 22, Damian Harris. He's on my running back sleeper list. And this week, he versus the New York Jets. After coming off a 100-yard performance last week for Harris, this week he easily could get 100 yards. The thing with him is, you know, game script. And this week the game script's going to go in his favor. I think the Patriots will have a lead most of the game versus the Jets. And Harris, he could get 100 yards or maybe 80 yards and a touchdown for you. So he's number 22. Number 23 is Rojo. Ronald Jones is a... The Tampa Bay Bucks. we saw him fumble last week, like I said, and get out-touched by Fournette 15-7, and he just don't catch the ball out of the backfield as well that good. This week, he's in a shootout matchup for the division versus New Orleans Saints, but I'm going to keep him at 23. 24 is Le'Veon Bell. Like I said, him and C Clyde Edward Hilaire, 50-50 carry in the backfield, but Bell last week was supposed to be his ven vengeance, and revenge game, but that don't happen. Bell looks slow. He was too patient behind the line. 
and I just don't like him. So I had him on my bench video this week. But if you really need to play him, I guess play him. Number 25, Matt Breed at Arizona. Breed are banged up with the hamstring injury. So I don't know if he's going to play. But if he does, he's the 25th ranked back. I picked him up in a bunch of leagues. He's going to be the man there. Now I would think with Miles Gaskin out, Jordan Howard, he looks washed. So Breeder would be the guy, but if he don't play this week, go out there and get Jordan Howard just in case. Number 26, another guy injured, Philip Lindsay of the Denver Broncos. But when this young running back plays, he's a tough guy to get down. He brings toughness to the field. He could get you big games. This week he's got Atlanta. I don't know if he's going to play, but if he does, him and Gordon are going to split. So I got him at the 26th spot. Number 27, Jonathan Taylor, the rookie bust this year. A lot of people had high hopes for Taylor and Swift coming out of college this year and starting for their ball clubs. And Taylor, he's only had about two or three good games this year. Wilkins got 20 carries last week. Taylor is dealing with an ankle injury as well, even if he does play. He's got a tough matchup versus Baltimore, and he was a running back I had on my bench list this week, number 28. Is LaMichael P. Ryan of the New York Jets. It's about time Adam Gaze gave this kid some carries with a team going nowhere and not playing Frank Gore as much, who has nothing left to prove in this league at 37 years old. But anyway, P. Ryan, he's had a couple decent games this year, but this week he's got the Pats, and once again, game script is not going to be in his favor. He don't really catch the ball out of the backfield that much, but I'm going to put him at 28-29. Tyler Irvin of the Green Bay Packers. Yes, I guess this phase, last man standing, uh, lines here with that statement because tonight he's the fourth string running back. Now he's number one on the depth chart versus the San Francisco 49ers, and he's a guy I honestly had on my sleeper list. Like I say, if you're going to get a good workload in a good offense, especially with a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers, Urban could be a sneaky play and a sleeper this week who could get you 10 to 12 points. So if Aaron Jones don't play, Urban's going to be the 29th ranked running back. And number 30 is going to be Wayne Gorman at the Washington football team. He was on my sleeper list as well, either him or Freeman, depending who plays. But it looks like to me, Devonta Freeman's not going to play. He didn't practice. Gorman, he's a sneaky start. We saw him last week versus Tampa Bay. Have 11 carries for 44 yards and a touchdown. And also a catch for 18 yards. So this guy, he should get more carries. I don't know why Alfred Morris was splitting with him. So Freeman's out. Gorman will be, so Gorman, he'll be the 30th and final ranked running back into the top 30 running backs heading into week 9.